She is fucking crazy. I know. She's insane. Fuck, I could never do that. Oh, Jesus. You can barely get out of bed and go to work in the morning, let alone build an entire house out of candy. Yeah, but she doesn't really need to work. Trust fund baby. Really? Oh, jeez. Why aren't we that lucky? I know, but she's gonna get so fat. Yeah, with oh, that God. house full of children and candy? Oh, God! You'll be stuffed with child flesh soon. <laughs> so, so what do you want to what do you want to do tonight? I don't know. I, I was thinking about uh, smoking some more weed and watching some West Wing. You know, I've, I've gotten to the part where President Bartlett's about to reveal his homosexual love affair with his personal assistant. Wait, what? The homosexual love affair that he's having with his assistant. The character oh. played by that guy, uh, uh, um, Dully Hill. Uh, Hill. Okay. Um, first of all, there's no... Uh, a homosexual love affair between the oh, president and his, and his aide. It's Bullshit. No, no you've and never it's seen not a show. Dully no. Hill. It's Dulé Hill. You <laughs> redneck. Oh, God, I hate you. I, you know, I just hate you. Never even seen the show, and I, I can say Dully or Dooley, or I can say it however I want to say it. Okay, okay. listen, I Dully, Dulé, Dulé. Um, I don't care. But if there was a uh, TV show where the President of the United States was having a gay fling with his aide, I would know about that. That is true. You do love your trash TV. <laughs> and maybe I'm just reading too much into things these days. Imagine. Oh, God, I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Come on, it's Friday night. Let's, uh, let's, uh, go ahead and do something. Jesus Christ. You can binge watch the West Wing for homosexual tensions on a on a weeknight. I know it's just been so long since I found a TV show that I like. It'll be here when you come back. <coughs> I know, I know. I just I love it so much. I know, oh, I know. It's been a long time so since you've much. seen a show you like. But come on, it's oh. Friday night. Let's go out. You know, have fun. So so, what do you want to do then? Um. I don't know. What do you want to do? I thought you had some kind of plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. My plan was to ask you what you wanted to do. Uh, oh, come on. What do you want to do tonight? Well, I wanted to sit here and I want to smoke weed and I want to watch the West Wing all night. But somebody I know is being a bitch about it. So, so okay. what do you want to do then? First, I'm going to ignore your child behavior. Uh, okay, we could go to... We could go to Sputnik for a drink. Oh, that place is always packed on Friday nights. It's still early. We get a place at the bar. I don't know. The $2 bill crowd hangs out there. And the $2 bill crowd kind of sucks. Oh. What else is there to do? Okay, uh, there's a Doom show at Bar Bar. Oh, that sounds good. Tell me more about that. Um... Cthulhu in my heart, beasts rip me up before dawn, um, I don't think you can pronounce this one. No, no, I don't, I don't think you can pronounce that at all. Okay, so, unpronounceable band and Zothists. Ooh, Zothists, they never play out. We should go to that. It would be a whole night of... Ooh, and, and a lot of cute, depressing boys with big beards drinking beer. Oh, oh. that sounds awesome. Check. Yeah, yeah, All check right. that off on our list. That okay. sounds like a good idea. Um, oh. What? Well, what's going on over there? Echo Beds is um, playing at Glob Glob Glob. Didn't we see them play two weeks ago? They play every week because they're so good. No, oh, they are really good. And it's at Glob, so David Castillo is going to be there. David Castillo is obsessed with the West Wing, just like you are right now. How do you know that? How do you know these things? Uh, if you like, would, you never if hang you, out with David if Castillo. If you would be paying attention to your Facebook feeds, you'd know this shit too. God, 
you take things way too seriously in life. It's creepy sometimes. It's just like, oh, God. Show Echo Beds. Yeah, yeah, Echo Beds. That sounds good. All right. Yeah, let's go. Oh. I think I might be a little bit higher than I thought, that I was. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm going to make some coffee and we can sit around for a little while. Okay. Well, I feel better now. Yeah, me too. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? I'm... You're driving. I just want to get high for the ride. What? Your driving scares the shit out of me. Get high. Let's go. All right, all right. Yeah, no problem. I cannot believe that that truck did not just kill us. Uh, uh, come on, let's just go in and see the show. That was fantastic. Awesome. The thing is, you don't even get the point because you don't understand what you're even talking about. Look, man, stop living in your box. It's just like you're trapping yourself from the finer realities that we live day to day. It's like, geez, man, let's go back to high school. Excuse me, young man, I can hear you from all the way in the back. What the hell are you ranting about? I was just telling him about this dream that I had with this squirrel who was fighting this octopus and then it related to, and how it related to my readings about the early refrigeration in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I kind of got like carried away. Mm -hmm. And who won? It was the octopus, man. He ripped him apart in one bite. Can I take a picture? I do see your point about a lot of emotional subtext between the president and his aide. But I don't know if I see it as sexual. I think you may be reading more into it than there is. Yeah, someone else was saying that earlier. I think it's more about generations coming together. The brotherhood of man, you know, no matter the race, creed, or color. about bringing people together. Like, who'd you vote for for president? Oh, I can't vote. What do you mean you can't vote? Mm. No, no, felony conviction. <coughs> Wait, what? When did you commit a felony? Oh, two years ago. I went to jail and everything. Whoa! Learn something new every day. If uh, you don't mind my asking, what were you in for? Oh. This is so weird. I mean, I'm real open about this. I've told everybody, I mean, I'll be honest about this. 
I killed this child. You ate a child? Oh, come on, David. It was for cocaine. It was for cocaine. I went to jail for cocaine, David. And maybe a little bit of poisoning. But I didn't kill any children. No children whatsoever. Calm down. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, man. This is hilarious. I convinced David that I killed children at midnight. Oh, David, you did not fall for her dumb joke. That is hilarious. Come on, we gotta go. Bye, David! Bye, David! This is never going to work. This one squir squirms too much. Let me help. Don't worry, this will be over soon. <laughs>